Hello students. Welcome back to our lecture series on computer engine graphics that is CAEG. We are dealing with unit number 3 that is isometric projections. Up till now we have studied many things that is understanding the principle behind isometric projection, how to use that isometric view for a third person or a consumer as such. <coughs> then in the next lecture we have studied the process of drawing isometric views, we have understood isometric scales and regular scales also. In the third lecture we have studied how to use AutoCAD for drawing isometric views. Today what we will be doing is, we will be considering an machine component and we will be using AutoCAD software for drawing that isometric view of this machine component. The example that we are going to see that is been put on the left side over here. Okay. So, what we will be doing is whatever the thing that you will do manually. Okay. So, all these things we are just going to do it with the help of AutoCAD software as such. Okay. So, we will switch over to the AutoCAD software. So, here is the same particular example that we have started over here. Okay. Actually, the solution is front in front of you. And just delete this solution right now. I selected it and deleted it. Okay. We will try to first of all understand what is that object like. Okay. So, this is the front view and top view. We are referring to the first angle method of projection, wherein the front view appears on the top and top view appears below that. Okay. Now, what you are able to see what has been given in yellow color or shaded in yellow color. Okay. Now, this particular shape this is not appearing in the top view. So, it signifies that this is a vertical surface. Similarly, there is another one which is triangular which is seen in green. Okay. So, this is also not seen in the top view. It is seen as a line here. So, these are the two vertical surface what we have. So, we understood what is that particular object as such. Okay. So, we will decide our uh, front view direction. Now, since the origin has been given over here, so it signifies that I have to uh, get details on the left hand side view. Okay. So, in this isometric view, I should be able to see the front uh, face and I should be able to see the left face. Okay. Now, the left face will be on this side. So, naturally, this will be our front view direction. Okay. Now, so it means that our length direction will be this and width direction will be this as such. Okay. Now, in earlier case, we had used isometric snap. Okay. Remember what we had done, we had gone for settings, we had gone for snap and grid and we had used isometric snap. Okay. We are just going to keep this isometric snap on here, okay. but I am just going to tell you another way of drawing isometric lines as such. Okay. So, there is one thing which is called as a polar that is appearing on the status bar. Okay. So, I will just particularly go to the settings. Now, in the particular <coughs> polar, okay, so I will be using the increment angle. So, increment angle that I will be using is 30 degrees. Okay. I will just keep it that way and I will keep the polar tracking on and click on OK. okay. Now, momentarily I will just turn off that isometric snap and move to the rectangular snap. So, you will be able to understand. Okay. So, I start with the line command, I pick up any point okay, and I am just moving this mouse. So, you can just see if it is in long z direction. Okay. So, I am getting kind of a direction here. So, what I can do is I can just give a direction, substitute some kind of a value of the length and I can press enter and you will be able to see that a line has been drawn. Okay. Similarly, I will go for another line. Okay. Again, this is freely moving, but moment the cursor comes nearer to the 30 degree angle. Okay. So, I am getting a direction. So, let us say again I give one length. Okay. So, this way I am able to move it. Okay. I will just show you. So, I can get the vertical also. Okay. I will be able to get 60, but that is not required. What angle we require is 30 degree for uh, isometric. Okay. I can go it on the left side also 30 degrees. I can I can go horizontal. Okay. But what we will be needing is, <coughs> we will be needing only 30 degrees to the right, 30 degrees to the left and vertical lines. I okay. will just delete this. 
and also switch back to our normal particular line weight ok. So, we just understand this is the origin we have length direction. So, length dimension is 100 millimeters that we are able to see. So, I start with the line command start from the origin I give a direction ok. So, when it is in this direction I will be substituting the value of the length. So, length value is 100 and I will press enter ok. So, a line has been drawn in that direction. Now, what I shall do is I shall just switch over the color of this to something faint. So, I can choose color 9, color 8, but I will just prefer it in a blue color faint blue ok. I will treat this as an our construction line ok. So, this is the length. Now, what is the height here? So, height is 50 millimeters. So, I will start with line command start for the origin ok and then I give a vertical direction. Once that direction has been established, I give the value of that particular distance. So, value is 50 millimeter, I will type in 50 and press enter. So, I got that line also. I will just use match properties to connect this. I will make this construction color default ok. Now, then I have this distance, this is 30 millimeters again I click for the start point I give a direction this is 30 ok. I will be using only distances that are available for me. So, now, this distance is available that is 20 millimeters. So, I will start from this end point of this give a direction distance is 20 ok. I want to get this point, but I will be getting this point by means of some kind of a arbitrary distances. I will just make use of the direction. So, I draw a line which is longer than the needed. Similarly, I draw a vertical line okay, longer than needed okay, and the unwanted portion I am going to trim it. So, I use the trim command to trim this portion. Okay. So, this yellow colored face this has been drawn now. I okay. will just erase this. Now, what I need is I need a left face that is on this side. Okay. How much is the width? Width is 50 millimeters. Okay. So, that is here. So, I have to go in this direction, I start with the line command, again I start for the origin point, give a direction 30 degrees to the left and the distance will be 50 ok. Now, I can draw this vertical line, I can draw this line also ok, but along with this polar method I am just using another particular uh, way of drawing this isometric face ok. You are familiar with the copy command which is available on the modified toolbar. Okay. Now, in case of orthographic projection, offset command was very useful for us. Okay. Here, what will be useful is our copy command is useful, offset does not, uh, command does not work. So, I will go for copy command. I want to draw a vertical line in of the same length as this. So, I will select this as object, this as the source point and this as the destination point. Okay. So, what I am able to do is with the help of copy command it is very easily copied. Same thing I am going to apply it here. So, this horizontal line I want it here. So, copy from here up to here. Same thing I will require here also. Same thing I will require here also. Okay. With the many few strokes I am able to complete all these things. Okay. Similarly, again I will go for copy command. I will use this line. So, this is source point and this is the destination point. Same thing applies here. Okay. Now, this is unwanted portion. I want to trim it. So, I will go for trim. I will uh, use a perfect method of trimming. So, this becomes my cutting edge and then I press enter and then I can perfectly trim this. Okay. So, almost most of the particular object that is being obtained here. Right now, what we need is this triangular rib here. Okay. Now, we have to get distances for that either this point or this point. But since the distance has been given as 20 millimeters from the back side, so that is this side over here, I am going to get it. Okay. So, what I shall do is I will mark a point here and I will try to copy this point along the wheel direction. Okay. So, the wheel direction is from here along this. Okay. So, the distance has been given is first is 20. Okay. We will just find out whether that distance is correctly copied. Okay, so, this is correctly copied for me. Okay. So, again I will copy for the next distance that is 10 that is width of this rib. 
so I will get 10 ok. Again verify the distance, so this is 10 ok. Now same thing I want to obtain it here ok, because there will be line which is starting from this point and somewhere along here ok, but at the particular distance ok. So, what I shall do is I will copy all these three points ok, this as the source and this as the destination ok. So, I want to particularly draw lines here ok. So, what I will do is start with the line command, this is my start point, this is the end point ok. Now, for drawing this line I should zoom it properly otherwise I might be picking up wrong points here ok. So, there is a chance that I might pick another. The better way is I can use copy command this is the source and this is the destination ok. I am able to get the same effect as such ok. So, I have obtained this line, I need this bottom line here ok. So, what I shall do is I will copy this. So, let us say copy this in this direction ok. Now, this is unwanted portion, I am just going to trim it. Okay. Similarly, there will be another portion which I want to trim it that is this okay. because these two lines appear first and then I have this line. Okay. So, naturally this will be not required as such, I will go for trim, this will be cutting edge, okay. I had trimmed it. Okay. So, almost this is ready for us. Okay. Now, once this is ready for us, some other thing I will just make it more visible. I will increase its line weight. I will also increase change the color here. Okay. Now, same thing I have to do it for many of the lines. Okay. So, what I shall do is I will use the match properties command. I can apply it here. So, I get a better view now. Okay. Now, some of the portion where I will be having another features that I have just kept it. Okay. There will be a door tail slot here, there will be a semicircular hole here. Okay. So, that we are going to draw afterwards. Okay. So, almost this is complete now. Now, I just zoom into the required area for us that is I want to get this zoom into this particular door tail slot ok. So, what are the distance first for me? This is 20 millimeters and then 30 millimeter and the height is 10 ok. So, again I will mark a point here, get a distance. So, I will copy this our usual process starting from here along this direction first distance is 20. Similarly, again I will copy this, the next distance is from here along the same direction 30 ok. And then I have to get height reference, for that I will use this line and copy along this direction the distance or the height is 10. I will go vertical, this is 10, I will copy the same line here, ok. Now, the point is somewhere here and somewhere here, ok. Now, I should read the drawing properly, it says 45 degree. So, it means that whatever the 10 millimeter height, so the same will be the width here. So, what I should do is from this point I should move somewhere here along 10 ok. So, I just copy these lines. So, from this point along here let us say 10 ok and this is the point that I will be requiring ok. Same thing that is going to appear on the left side of our door 10 along the same direction 10 millimeters to the left I will mark that point. Okay. So, what I have done is I have obtained some points
so this is the points what i have this is let us say a this is b this is c and this is d okay so same thing here this is a this is b this one is c and this one is d okay now we have lines between these points okay i'll change the color right now i'll increase the default line weight and finish this so from here in line line okay same thing i shall complete here also okay now we should be careful here we are able to see two dotted lines in the top view okay so one line is corresponding to an edge passing through c point and another line that is for an edge passing through d okay now what is this this is a cavity so if it is a cavity so whatever might be the edge here so that edge will be able to see here okay so what we should do is from staying from this point along this direction okay i should draw a line so i'm just going to draw a line which is slightly greater than required okay and the unwanted portion that i'm going to trim so this is unwanted portion that i'm going to trim okay so that finishes our particular dotted what is remaining is the semicircle here okay so we'll slightly zoom out we'll find out the distance here okay so where is this particular circle at the midpoint of this 50 mm line so first of all i'll get that okay and then i should draw an isometric circle now if i i'll just tell you what is the mistake okay so suppose if i again start with ellipse command so i don't have any option on the command line which says iso circle okay so students please note that what we have to do is we have to again switch back to our isometric snap setting so go to snap and grid turn on that isometric snap click on okay now we have the cursor so again i will go for that ellipse command this is available on the draw toolbar now i have the isometric circle option so i'll go for isometric circle okay now it is asking me for center so this will be the center then i should indicate what is the radius so radius is 15 okay so i want to trim unwanted part of this ellipse okay so i have semi ellipse now okay i'll finish up this portion okay similar to this line i'll be having a vertical edge over here because there is a surface here so similar to this line i should have a vertical line here also so i will just make use of the copy command which is very useful for us one edge here another edge here okay i will finish the bottom portion okay now this is the top portion of that semicircular ellipse i should be having one over here again i will be using a copy command for that now this is the unwanted portion i am just going to remove it with the help of trim command okay so this will finish our particular drawing axis i'll just zoom out and zoom into properly here So, what are the features of this particular object which has been seen in the front view and top view? So, we are able to get it in the isometric view as such. Okay. So, we have learned almost all the particular ways of drawing isometric views. We have learned isometric snap, 
we have also uh, learned to use the polar snap over here ok. So, this way we are able to draw isometry ring, we are able to uh, construct some kind of a irregular slots, we are able to construct the uh, semicircle, semicircular uh, holes etcetera ok. We have also learned to use the copy command ok. So, with this particular ways we will be able to almost finish most of the isometric drawing ok. So, we shall stop over here, we will be just meeting in the next lecture.